going to you guys. Welcome to a, uh, another match play video for you today. Uh, today we're going to be going over um, uh, Jump Bluff versus uh, uh, Moltres Embor. Now if you know the story behind Moltres Embor, it's, we kind of goofed. We thought Eco Jim did something differently, but it didn't, but oh well. Uh, we still decided to keep it as a deck anyways. Um, and to be honest, it's actually not the worst. We played it in our fun game the other day uh, versus, uh, we played this versus Teflosion, and we were like, all right, let's 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 see how this works out, because Teflosion, like, makes you discard your own deck, right? So we, we figured, hey, let's let's get a little bit of, like, help, right? Um, and uh, uh, we got close. It was, like, one or two cards off. Um, so kind of interesting. Uh, but it's it's a very easily countered deck. Meta or, um, uh Mold traces because all you need to do is trump card, right? Trump card's legal in the format, makes mill decks very hard to like function properly, right? Um, so as a Moltres player, you need to be able to mill their trump card, their versus seeker, their uh, pal pad, their Marley's request, and then their drunk arm, their item finder, and their dowsing machine. Got to mill all of those. Um, plus, you have to mill anything else that's going to get cards back. That's a little bit unorthodox. Maybe something like um, if they play like a Bunnel Bee or the promo Celebi EX that when you play it gets a card back. Like, uh, or, or even like uh, I guess like the SP deck it plays um, um, uh, not Buizel but uh, uh, Float Soul GL. Like, um, there's all of these uh, cards that just inherently counter it because all you're doing is just like straight milling. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's not impossible. If you do manage to mill all of those cards, um, then you win. It's really cool, actually. Uh, granted, that's, like, nigh impossible to do, uh, and you have to get really lucky, but if you're milling, you know, 10, 20 cards a turn, not impossible. Not impossible. Um, but at the same time, Jump Bluff is one of those decks that's just always going to take the one shot whenever it wants. Um, it's going to be consistent. It's going to... It doesn't require a lot to set up, you know, I, I'm just going to get the minimal stuff, I'm going to get the two support Pokemon, the the jump luff, and call it good sort of thing. Um, you know, you mean, to be even honest, I could uh, I could just go for um, not uh, not setting up any you know, of the support Pokemon and just getting out uh, a jump luff or two, like, you know, so not hard there. Anyways, if you're confused about what I did there, I decided to take back the uh, Darkness Grace so I could play a second supporter. I totally forgot that I could do that turn two, which is weird for me. Um, but anyways, uh, it really rough draw for uh, Moltres, like we said. Um, Jump Bluff is probably BDIF at this point. Uh, the more we've played with it and the more that we've theory mond other stuff and thought about Magnezone and all those other things, we think uh, maybe Jump Bluff is actually the best deck in the format. Um, but then again, it is good to be seen. We have not won with it yet, but it has kind of just crushed all the games that it played in its bracket. So, um, and it's got a fairly favorable draw in the top eight if you look at the bracket already. So, um, nothing going on. Nothing a lot going on this game. Uh, the double spirit gym start uh, really does slow down early early game. Um, we're both ready to retreat. We're both ready to break that lock. Um, I just kind of need that jump luff so that I can start actually attacking. Um, I, that's just what I'm looking to do. I need to get a little bit more set up because um, right now it's just not happening. But then again, it's not happening for Greedy either. He needs uh, <coughs> he needs to get that Embor out, and all he's got is the tape egg, uh, and still no uh, um, still no Embor. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, Oak since he. Uh, he so kindly hexed me, so I can play the Brimies. Oh, wait, I, I, did he hex me? I might have accidentally done something there. <laughs> if he didn't hex me, then I'm stupid. I'm not paying attention at all right now, I'll be honest with you. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, getting the, the Solar Set jump left out, hitting that 160, uh, the first attack. Uh, next attack, I'm doing 140, so even if he mills something... Uh, my options are like I could just you know Lysander and take the um, uh, take the Embor knockout and take two prizes, and uh, that's another way that you can kind of counter this deck is um, you know mind you you can uh, 
you can just trump card over and over again. But the other thing is, if you trump card and you take a knockout on the Embor, like they have to get this Embor back up plus all the energies, which is just it's just bananas. It's so much stuff that they have to do. And like, or if you trump card in Hex, trump card in Goop, trump card in something. Like it's so much stuff that that they have to get accomplished, right? Um, so. It's uh, it's a tall order, but it's a lot of fun to see like 20 energies on a Moltres just literally burning through their deck. Uh, it's kind of funny. So and it does put it, it, is, it. You know, as you know, I was playing the uh, I was playing in Jump Bluff, and I felt a little bit scared at times. Like I was like, oh man, like what if I don't draw into my my Versus Seeker or my Item Finder? Like what happens if I don't get this stuff out? What what do I what do I do? Um, it's just a little bit scary, so, um, yeah, just, it's, you know, there are, there are possibilities that you're just gonna get rolled, but at the same time, like, who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows, um, I wish I could say more about this matchup, but it is very linear because of the nature of, um, the deck, it takes a lot to set up. I, I don't know if I would want more fire energies in the deck, to be honest. Like, it's it seems like I just, we just don't draw into them as much as we should. But um, here is Greedy is Greedy's going off for... He's got eight on there. And I think that's what he's going to get this turn, yeah. So he's got eight energies on that sucker, and that's what he's going to do. And he mills a, a junk arm, so that's handy for him. Uh, and I'm just going to try to now just dig for... Uh, uh, dig for just a way to have a, um, oh, there's a pal pad, and yeah, it looks like the trump card even, actually. Maybe? Did I, did I miss see that? But the pal pad does help. I'm going to be able to shuffle back in something. I think I shuffled back in the, the trump card. I remember discarding it early. Um, so yeah, I do, uh, shuffle back in that trump card with the pal pad. Just going to set up another jump left, like, just in case. You know, he is, uh, um, he is fire type, so like he could start attacking like if he needed to. Uh, so might as well put another jump off down, I guess. Uh, hey, there's a jump card in my hand. Um, that is my first supporter for the turn, so um, it is handy to have that. I'm gonna go ahead and clay it all here. There's a versus seeker even, and maybe that's where I go here. Um, Maybe I go trump card. But it is going to be item finder for a gust of wind, and then a versus seeker for probably a sycamore and put it in my hand, and then download the uh, uh, download the trump card, which is what happens there. So yeah, like I was talking, this it's this sort of turn where I take a gust on the embor and a download on the trump card. So now his turn, uh, he has to get embor back out, and I just reset the game. The only thing worse is if I would have bounced the stadium. If I had done that, then it then it would have been really over, right? So at least he's got the um, at least he's got the broken time space to kind of like you could you could get like a teammates or something. Uh, he kind of bounce back that way. So at least he has that option. He's not completely out of the water, but like it's already rough, right? Embor is a fun deck. Embor um, uh, Moltres, it's fun. It's cool to blow up half their deck. Um, if Trump Card wasn't in format, I would say this deck might be actually one of the best. Um, but Trump Card needs to be in this format. It it if Trump Card wasn't in U150, it would it wouldn't be as great. I don't think um, there are a lot of like dynamics that change. Like you could play it, but I think there's a lot of like there are a lot of decks that just couldn't be possible, and Donk decks would be way better. Um, just because, like, uh, like if that's your strategy, uh, um, like for instance, for instance, bronze arm break. Um, the strategy against that is you have to have that that spirit tomb active, and then the moment you retreat, you have to hex loop them, right? So you have hex, you have pal pad uh, for a second hex, so that's two there. Uh, you have your item finders, which is five. Item finder, junk arm, um, uh, dowsing machine. That's five. You have your marlies, so that's six, seven and then your goop is eight, right? So you have to literally play just those for your eight prizes against Bronze on Break. Well, if you ever miss one of those, Bronze on Break just kills you because that's what Bronze on Break does. 
Um, so the way that you have to kind of alleviate that hex, the way to, to do hex over and over again is at one point you're going to have to trump card to get back those things so you have a greater chance of hitting those, right? So without trump card that would be bad. Um, where, you know, I think this is a good time to talk about it because mill decks just aren't possible. Palkia Dialga is like the closest thing to it, and even then, that's not great. Like, it's not a great card. Um, so yeah, it is hard for mill decks to exist, and that's fine. Um, I don't necessarily mind it. Um, mill is kind of a, a an, art, an art form of sort at times. Uh, but... Um, I don't know. I, I think it, if it was in U150, there'd be a lot of more lock and mill sort of decks. Like, lock decks still exist, but mill decks just don't. So, and I'm fine with that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He hit nothing good there. A lot of energies, but whatever. Um, Porygon and Swoop. Uh, I'm Swoop for the spinner rack, and I might need to uh, get some poison down at some point, or impound, or something, so... Um, swoop in there and then Sycamore just trying to get like my hand set up and my board set up just so I can pick off whatever he throws me I'm trying to dig for maybe a Lysander here I do have that Guzma in hand but uh, let's see 5 I'm doing 120 130, 140, 50 I could knock out the uh, um, the Embor again if I wanted to so I'll go ahead and escape rope I'm probably going to take the knock out on the Embor like I have the Guzma I might be trying to just put a, uh, a like a versus seeker in my hand of some sort. So double gussy picks one of mine to switch, um, and I you know getting the double gust out helps uh, me because I did get the the fluffy berry, so I can save that Guzma for next turn. Um, oh, actually no, I'm taking the Claydol. We're taking the Claydol knockout here. I could have taken the Embor knockout, and I I think I would have actually liked that better. But uh, that's okay. Knock out the clay doll. Maybe hurts his setup a little bit. Uh, he's now got to get recovery cards to get that back, which is whatever. Um, so yeah, maybe the Embor knocker would have been better because it takes him more recovery cards to get Embor. Uh, clay doll just needs the two, or even just like a super rod and like ways to search it. So um, but that's okay. He able to able to get a lot of energy here. He still has a Starmie, uh, superior energy retrieval, blacksmith. He's going up to, like, I think, eight again. So back-to-back -back turns of at least eight. <laughs> just, it's just so bananas. There's nine attachment from hand. Computer search gonna, is going to get him even more. Oh, he's going to go for the uh, Retriever. He hits none. He just needed to hit one. He just needed to hit one of those so he could get the Baltoy and then, like, a Pokemon Retriever of some sort. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what are you looking for? He's going to go over an N, hoping maybe... Maybe we can hit a goop off this, or uh, something like that. Okay, maybe just shut off this clay off of one turn. Hopefully he can get back-to-back -back turns of knocking out, uh, or getting a lot of things out of my hand. Two more energies come down. Really big wildfire this turn. So I really need to get that trump card again. So let's see. I think he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's an item finder. It's an item finder there. That's not bad. Uh, there's an oak in my hand. I think that might be what I end up playing. Uh, makes sense to Oak. Peacom. I got probably the other uh, yep, the other jump left. Do more damage. Um, eventually, the solar step just isn't going to cut it. Right now, it's cutting it. Go ahead and laser him. We don't you know don't really need to laser him, I guess. Uh, if I can find a way to do just exactly sixty damage, then that'd be nice. So that the rescue and that rescue scratch still works, I believe, right? I don't know. Doesn't. Doesn't matter that much. So, uh, still no supporter for the turn. Uh, so I can hit this like Lysander. That'd be nice. Lysander would have knocked out the uh, Embor, maybe even a Hex Maniac. Um, muscle Band going to the area dose is interesting, to say the least. I probably would have liked that on the uh, the jump, the the mass attack jump bluff, maybe. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Looks like I'm mallowing. So that's going to grab me whatever supporter I want, because I can clay it all into it, or even back up into it. Um, probably going to go grab a Hex, I would imagine. Maybe even a Lysander. I don't know if I can knock it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 120. Uh, that's why it's 80. So I can't knock him out. I can't knock out uh, Embor now. 
That's what I would have liked to knock him out last turn, because I still could have taken the uh, clay all this turn, you know? I think I sequenced that wrong, but... Well, you sequenced my knockouts wrong. I'm just trying to prevent, like, you know, conserve this lead. So the item finder goes for the, uh, the oak. And actually, no, we're taking the versus seeker on the trump card instead of the hex. Um, that's probably a little bit of a better scenario there, um, to be honest. So I backed up the first time, played all this time, got an acrobike, now we're going to start playing cards. I got the Versus Seeker in my hand, um, so we're going to save that for the um, for the trump card next turn. But I did goop, so he is not doing anything, so next turn I can just take like a free knockout. Really? I can just retreat into the, um, into the other um, jump bluff. Uh, Erica gets played on a super energy removal. That was his energy for the turn. He is not, uh, he's under goop lock, and then the N. So I showed him, I said, look, I got this, like, I got this hex in the versus seeker and the, and everything. So. Like, I was, I was set. It was a secret mission and an energy, and there was a third card in there I didn't see. Um. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of writing on the wall at this point. He hex, so he can't do anything, so I draw. Attach to that uh, area does again in case I really need to bring something back. We're going to back up first. Secret mission. Really just looking for a hex or a... Um, we to get the trump card back. There's the hex. That's probably going to come down, to be honest. After the Claydol. Energy removal does nothing. A Lysander and a hex. And I go ahead and I take Lysander, then poison him. And then knock him out. That's 70 damage right there. Uh, so yeah, see, I played that kind of just weird. I just played them both down, but it's Lysander, uh, Poisonous Nest, Download, Hex, Knockout. Because there's three prizes left, and then uh, Poison knocked him out. So he can't even use teammates this turn. Uh, can't attach any energies. Uh, you know, Hex Loop and... Um, both Hex Loop and uh, Trump Loop just kind of ruin this game. Uh, I just see a Passman, I'm going to mill one, take that energy removal... Gonna oak, look for that uh, versus seeker, and I think I hit it there. Um, so windstorm the BTS just kind of maybe hurt him even more. Don't have enough to knock him out, but it will be versus seeker for hex. Retreat and take this knockout, and uh, he'll end me down to one. Maybe he can hit the goop off of this to to pin me a little bit more. He could get a run back with. Um, the M board, but under hex lock, it's going to be very unlikely he's going to need to do it next turn. Uh, Retriever, two head, one heads. Probably get the Baltoy. Nope, the Porygon. That's going to be the option here. Uh, the one card, oh, and there's the Mallow for the, uh, I don't know, escape rope. Escape rope, what an Anaguzma does it too. So. That's all she wrote for Moltres M board. Not a very good deck, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.